Welcome to Wacker Newson product training. In this video, we will show you how to properly operate our equipment. First things first, it is important to wear the obligatory personal protective equipment for this machine at all times. This is for your own safety. This includes safety shoes with integrated steel toe caps to protect your feet. Wearing a safety vest on the job site will keep you highly visible at all times. Safely climbing onto the wheel loader is simple. The important thing is to always keep at least three points of contact with the unit. Once seated, fasten the safety belt. Insert the key into the ignition lock and turn it one position forwards for preheating. To start, turn completely. This is how you switch on the lighting. Road lighting, work light, rotating beacon. It is important not to use the working lights in road traffic. The indicator is located on the left side of the steering wheel. Before you drive, the attachment must be raised. To do so, carefully pull the joystick backwards. By moving the joystick left or right, the attachment is rolled in or out. For travel direction, use the orange wheel on the joystick. Forward, neutral, reverse. You will see a small arrow on the display that shows the travel direction. Additionally, you can choose between rabbit for high speed and turtle for normal speed. There are two drive pedals in the footwell, the throttle pedal on the right and the inch brake pedal on the left. With wheel loaders, one distinguishes between static and hydraulic attachments. To replace an attachment, First, hold the release and then activate the rotary knob on the back side of the joystick. This retracts the locating pin of the quick coupler system. Once the attachment is released, it can be set aside. Back the wheel loader out a bit and you are finished. To connect a new attachment, tilt the quick coupler system forward and hook the attachment. Then extend the locating pin again and you are finished. If you want to replace a hydraulic attachment, you must also attach the hydraulic hoses. To do so, depressurize the hydraulic circuit using the touch button on the joystick console to enable the connection of couplings. Caution with pressure on the line, the connection of couplings may be difficult to impossible. Once the couplings are released, the hydraulic attachment can be connected to the static attachment. Additionally, the hydraulic couplings must be connected. Once the hydraulic attachment is coupled, it can be operated via the third control circuit on the joystick control wheel. The more specific functionalities of each attachment are enclosed in the operator's manual of that respective attachment. To switch off the wheel loader, lower the boom until the attachment lays on the ground horizontally. Pull the parking brake and turn the ignition switch key counterclockwise. Remove the key once the engine has completely stopped. Please ensure that the wheel loader is not parked on a slope. Caution: The wheel loader has articulated pendulum steering, therefore the turning radius and the steering behavior are different than with a car. When traveling, do not drive with the load raised. In this table, please find the required driver's license to operate this machine. You will find detailed information on the use of this machine in the operator's manual. For questions on this equipment, please speak to your Wacker Newson contact. They will be happy to help. Further product information can be found at www.wackernewson.com.